Um, I've always liked to listen to stories and records growing up, this active imagination. And I, by the time I was in fifth grade, I decided that I was just going to, to be vocal and just uh, about my identity. Even at fifth grade, I was good, not going to be silent. I was going to be the person who read out loud and was dramatic and was going to do plays. I decided that acting and theater was just going to be the way to survive. And it was the way for me to escape the suburbs of Maryland into DC. Um, nobody's going to tell me that I can't act. So I just started to write poems and I started to perform poems because it was the 90s and multicultural literature was booming. And I thought, well, I could write my own poem. And I started to perform the poems and people gave me standing ovations, which never happened because I was always like servant number four or like, you know, these small parts. And so I said, I, I don't know what spoken word poetry, slam poetry is, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to act anymore. I'm just going to tell my story. And I think people responded to what a gay Filipino poet has to say. And this was before Will and Grace. This is before the internet. Um, I was like writing on a word processor, you know, remember those things. So it was, or in a notebook, old fashioned. And um, I think it was, for me, you, you can't be any more naked than performing your own poem before strangers. But it was sort of the truth that I could be me. I can be brown, I can be queer, and I would get a standing ovation for being me. I, I didn't have to be a certain height. I didn't have to have a certain Asian kind of look. I just had to tell the truth. And so that's what fascinated me. So to me, there's a part of me that's a journalist where when I'm teaching or I'm asking people to tell their story and I think because my story was never told, the story of a Filipino family, when, when do you see that? So I feel that everyone's got their story and when people are silent, um, it's like, no, you've got, you can write because you've got your own point of view. So to me, that's, that's really important. Especially being isolated growing up in a Filipino American family, the fact that I can connect to people is important. So I think the connection um, um, that I can connect to um, the folks is, is, is really huge. I think that's why I like slam poetry because it is theater in five minutes and because I was silenced, give me five minutes and I will change your life. I will give you everything that I am. If you give me one minute, I will, I will whatever you give me, give me the smallest crumb and I will milk that with all of my poetry and with all of my fierceness and with all my Lapu Lapu Magellan warrior.